Hello everyone, I'm RecV5. And I am Sandman99. And welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. Yes. And uh, in the last episode, we rescued Deputy Beagle. Yep. And uh, Deputy Beagle made it clear that he didn't want to be the new sheriff. Not sure what happened to the old sheriff. I think he got killed. Oh, okay. Anyway. Um, I think actually if you go inside one of these buildings, you can see that he got killed in his bed. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's right, too. I remember that. There's not much to see in there, though. Just him and his dead wife. But anyway, um, yeah. So the Deputy Beagle made it clear he didn't want to be the sheriff. He wants us to find a sheriff. And, of course, we have a couple of different options here. Um, it says the NCR will protect Prim if they get some additional military personnel. Uh, we could reprogram Prim Slim, the robot, yep. in in uh, in the uh, uh, whatever that place is called there. The uh, oh, what the hell is it called? I can't remember. I know it's opposite of the Buffalo Bill. Yeah, I think or. Buffalo, Buffalo, Buffalo Steve, actually. Yeah, Buffalo that's Steve. What that's Bison, Bison Steve. Bison, Bison Steve. Steve. Yeah. yeah, that's the one. Bison Steve. Yeah, the yeah. Bison Steve. Yeah. I guess I must have drawn blood from those guys already. Uh, the Vicky and Vance Casino. Yeah. Yep, that's the one, yep. Anyway, and I don't have enough technical abilities to actually um, uh, reprogram slim prim so uh, I'm going to have to uh, make do with what I have well and you do have a uh, another option don't you yes it was, uh, actually the the third option would have been uh, head to Novak in Nipton all nope. oh, right no uh I think I think there's a guy in the uh, yeah that, that's right you could go back up to uh, um, yeah Beagle wants a new sheriff for Prim uh, he suggested the ex sheriff at the correctional facility as a potential candidate so if you're not gonna reprogram the robot then uh, you've got uh, the ex sheriff or the NCR martial law yeah well. Anyway, I think it's probably more worthwhile to go talk to the NCR because I can't see a uh, convict really you know, being a good sheriff. Oops, I missed a turn off here. How do I get out of this place? I don't know. I just walk I, off. I gotta go this way. Yeah, just go yeah, that way. We'll go this way. I think this is the road off to uh, the uh, NCR base, right? That's where we're going. I can see the statue up there in the distance. You see the giant, yep. the giant statues? Yep. They're, they're so big that you can see them from a really long ways away. Oh, and it looks like there's probably some bad, bad guys here, right? I'm uh, going to have to, let's see, we'll, let's try, let's try this. Sniping yeah. with the varmint rifle. Well, it seems like a good idea. Well, you got that silencer on it now, don't you? Yeah. Escaped convict. Who are they shooting at? I think the escaped convict uh, and whoever that is were shooting at each other. Who's that? Our escape convict, okay. Yeah. Maybe I'll let them shoot at each other and kill each other a little bit first before we get into this too much. <coughs> there, see that guy just went down. Jackal gang leader. Okay. Okay. And that right there is the VATS trick, folks. You go into VATS and you aim down the sights and you pull the trigger. 
And even if the, uh, if the enemy's not moving or they're walking towards you or away from you, you can hit them more often than not without really having to aim too hard. Yeah. Yeah, it's not a bad way to, uh, operate things. Okay. Jackal gang leader. Okay, well, we'll harvest some blood, first of all. It doesn't work so well if, if opponents are, are uh, moving side to side, but it does work pretty good if uh, they're either not moving and not aware of you, or if they're moving towards you or away from you. Okay, and what else we got here? Scrap electronics. Okay. Uh, and then this guy. It looks like escaped convicts and jackal... Uh, uh, gang members? Gang members don't like each other. No, apparently not. Because mostly all I needed to do there was just uh, stand back and let the bad guys fight and kill each other. Yeah, let the bad guys shoot and kill each other. <laughs> uh -oh. oh, must be another one around here. Yeah. Oh, they saw you first. Oh. Behind okay. that car over on the far left. Yeah, I'm just getting behind some cover here. Oh, looks like they're gonna move around. Oh yeah, they're coming. They're gonna walk right in your face, man. Are they? Okay. Yeah. Oh geez, he did too. Okay. <laughs> Fine. You wanna be that way about it? Told you so. Yeah. I'll never understand why somebody with a gun wants to charge like that, but okay. Get the first shot. Yeah. Get shot first. Right? Yeah. The only problem with killing people with this thing is I can't eat them afterwards. Yeah, it vaporizes them completely, yeah. yeah? We'll go back to the shotgun. I should actually check and see uh, just how um, uh, my status is here. Okay, not bad. You also got some uh, different ammunitions for that shotgun, too, if you're running low on this type. Mm -hmm. You got slugs in there right now. Yeah, well, I've got two of them, and I've got a, you know, like I can fire it twice, and then I guess I'll just reload it with something else afterwards, right? Yep. Was there anybody else out here? Nope. It's looking like you probably got everyone. Okay. Alright, well, this here is the Skull Goddess Armor. That's where you can find it. Yep. You happen to install it, but it's really uh, not a safe, safe for YouTube outfit, so we're, <laughs> we're not even going to look at it. But how would you say you like the outfit on a scale of one to ten? I don't know. I mean, I'm I'm kind of on the fence about it. I like to tell you the truth. I like this outfit that we're wearing right now quite a bit. I think it's very, uh, you know, it looks nice and it's a uh, nice level of detail for this game at least yep you no know? you know, like you can see the detail work on the belt and the boots and all that kind of stuff yep and uh it has decent armor statistics ow okay fine i don't i am not used to the controls of this game just yet you, know, you said uh, uh, to me uh, the other day you've been playing a lot of Skyrim, and so now all your control schemes for everything else are screwed up now, too. Yeah. <laughs> I can't even figure out how to... Okay, there. See, I have a hard time figuring out how to stand up when I'm sneaking, right? Well, weird pigtail mohawk thing or not, I guess they all taste the same. Yeah. Wow, I decapitated this one. See, now, in Fallout 4, they have this persistent gore thing going on on your, on your character when this kind of stuff happens, right? Yep. You know what, I don't have a problem with gore, but I don't like this 
thing where they have there where you have to unequip and, and then re-equip all of your outfits and armor and things to get rid of that stuff, right? Yeah, you don't like walking around bloodstained <clears throat> all the time. Yeah, and it's not like I have really a problem with gore either because, I mean, that's pretty gory there. It seems to be a characteristic of these games. I mean, I only have experience with two of them. But, but the problem is is that you don't want you yourself to look soiled. That's right. <laughs> I want to stay nice and tidy and, and uh, you know, spiffy looking and... Uh, Decapitate you know. people along the way. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, I kind of... This is, this is one of those helpful uh, book type things. This is something I can't... Interact guns and bullets. Guns and oh, okay, I can't interact with it. Guns and bullets. I think that one's a permanent skill in Greece. Is it? I let's, think so. Let's see. Under aid, guns and bullets. You're right, it is. So we get a permanent th plus three increase for guns. Yep. Okay. Well, might as well switch to this thing right now. Oh, we have to pick a lock here. Bitter drink? Okay, well, it apparently doesn't do anything for me. I think it's uh, some kind of healing item. A lot of these things that you find that don't do anything for you are usually some kind of healing item, like Sunset Sarsaparilla is a healing item that yeah. dehydrates you. <laughs> yeah, I'm assuming that uh, these things have some sort of value. Yeah. Danger? What danger? Oh. That danger. Yeah. The thing was trying to sneak up on me. Yeah. Oh, an empty first aid box. Okay. And you know, that thing might be long enough. You might be able to strike them through the bars. I can hit multiple enemies with one swing, but look at how far away that one was when I killed it. You see that? Yeah, well, it's a pretty long weapon. Yeah, it has a very long reach, this thing does. Dead Prospector. He's got a Desperado cowboy hat. So what does a Desperado cowboy hat do? Uh, okay, so it's got damage threshold of one, although it looks like the condition of it is a little bit poor. And it gives me plus one perception, whereas this one here gives me uh, plus ten to barter and plus one to charisma, and it has a damage threshold of two. Yep. Okay. I'm not sure whether I can use that hat to repair this one, if this one gets damaged or what, but maybe we'll... Uh, Hang on to that, just in case. Well, who knows, maybe you're in the mood of, for a spiffy hat change someday. Well, maybe. Looks like I can't make anything. One thing I will say is, crafting is a lot harder to figure out. Yo, you've been keeping a little game. notebook, haven't you? Um, uh, yeah, but I don't know what I did with it now. Huh? Yeah, because I, I actually have a mod that adds, uh, you know how you have weapon repair kits in this game? Yep. Well, I added a one that has armor repair kits. It adds armor repair kits to the game as well. And those have recipes for crafting those too. Okay, well, I guess uh, that's it for this place. So we'll continue on our way up here. Oh, bless you. <coughs> oh, 
Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, you can't mute your mic either because you got a controller in your hand. Yeah. Well, see, when the furnace starts to run and that warm, dusty air starts coming out of that vent up above my head, right in my face. You sneeze then, a bunch. Uh, I sneeze a bunch. Yeah, that's got a pretty long range to it. Yeah, I can kill those things before they can get close enough to hurt me. <laughs> hmm. Oh, here comes another one. Yeah, there's even a sensitivity difference uh, I found but in the controls between this game and uh, later games. Yeah, this one's a lot faster than what I'm used to. <clears throat> oh, here comes another one of those things. Let's do this. This is easier. <laughs> Wow, that place looks like it's totally burned out. Yeah. Ammunition oh. box. Oh, look. See? Nice. Some uh, ammunition for my revolver. What's in this box? Oh, okay. Another mod added uh, leather armor. Yep. Okay, looks like this building here is all boarded up. <clears throat> Might be a couple of sunset sarsaparillas if you wanted to drink those. Yep. Yeah, we'll do that right now. You're the lady in New Vegas who uh, can drink all the sunset sarsaparillas in the world and never get thirsty. That's right. They have no effect on me whatsoever, though. I mean, I know they're a healing item, but they don't actually do anything for oh, me. If, if anybody else drank sunset sarsaparilla uh, at the rate you do, because they're uh, they inflict dehydration uh, in uh, uh, survival, they'd be mummified. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well. I guess one of the perks of being undead is that you don't have to worry about that. Yeah. Ooh, bottle caps. Let's have put this thing away so I can see. Open the cash register. More bottle caps. Pugilism Illustrated. Oh, that looks like it's a permanent skill book too, hey? Yep. Unarmed is increased by three. <clears throat> so I guess it was worth it to come in here after all. Okay. But I can't open that because I need a lockpick skill of 50. <clears throat> What is my lockpick skill? It's a long ways away from 50. So I guess I'm not opening that right. Major Stain's Journal. Gotcha. Okay. Let's read uh, Major Stain's Journal, which I think is under... See, that's one thing that they handle a little bit differently, right? Is you have these things under uh, miscellaneous. Yep. Know, like normally... In other games, later on after this, I found that they're actually a item that you can pick up and look at, right? Whereas here, it's just a note in your Pip-Boy kind of thing. Yep. I can't hardly believe my luck. Literally, I'm agaped. Just now, I was approached by a rather intense man calling himself Mr. Fox. When we were alone in my office, he let it be known he is a member of the Caesar's Legion. 
He knew that NCR troops and powder gangers spend, often spend time in Nipton. It turns out the Legion hates and wishes to make an example of both groups. The NCR for obvious reasons and the powder gangers for harassing Legion raiding parties on this side of the river. I didn't have to think a moment about Mr. Fox's proposition before accepting it. All I have to do is convince the powders to kidnap the NCR troops at night. Then when both groups are in town, the Legion boys will scoop everyone up. For this simple task, I've been offered 8,000 caps. Wow. I could almost go back to the NCR right away, but who knows how much else I might make off this Legion lackey. <laughs> <coughs> I'm going to start stockpiling some supplies in a safe house between here and the Mojave outpost in case I decide to head back home in a hurry. Very exciting. Signed with a steady hand on the keyboard. Super Mayor Joseph B. Stein, the third Esquire. Hmm. God. Okay. Well, didn't he end up... Well, we're kind of getting our head of ourselves there, but... Uh, yeah, I think that when he decided to betray Nipton... He definitely showed Caesar's Legion that uh, he was... <clears throat> yes, I am a bit of an explorer. I, uh... Yeah, you know where all the ammo boxes are. Half of this shit I didn't even know existed. I didn't know it was there for sure either. I just poked my nose in. Out, out, of, <laughs> out of habit, I poke my nose into every little spot that I can get, right? Well. This just looks like a bunch of empty boxes in there. Hey there, buddy. Hey there. Need anything? Okay. Sure. Here's what I got. What do you got? What do I got? Oh, okay. I could rebuild some 9mm pistols by the looks of it. I could sell some dynamite, I think. Yeah, I think you've got enough of it. You could make a killing here. You could take this guy for everything that he's worth. I don't know. How much dynamite is that? Okay, 300 caps. Okay, sure. Uh, you could sell that incinerator. It's big, it's heavy, and you don't use it. Yeah. Okay, let's sell the incinerator. For 234 caps. What else have we got here? Um, Probably ammo for the incinerator. No, I'll, I'll keep that. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, you could sell them some of your excess doctor's bags if you don't plan on carrying around them all. Actually, I might just save those too. Or some whiskey. Well, I'm going to drink that though. Yeah, I don't really have too much more for sale. Let's see what he has for sale. Got a laser pistol and plasma weapons. Okay. Rawhide cowboy hat. Yeah, okay. Pleasure doing business with you. Yeah. Stay safe. See ya. Well, you didn't take him for everything he's worth, but I guess you did take uh, the last guy, the guy who was telling you uh, about that stuff, the caps, I think. Yeah. Yeah, that was the guy. You took him for all he was worth. See, you're doing fa fantastically financially. Yeah. Well, so far, so good. I know if I remember correctly, you need a good sized chunk of change in order to be able to be allowed into New Vegas. So, 
it's not a bad idea to... Coming from the north? Must be crazy to brave those roads. Outpost. Mojave Outpost. Watching a lot of nothing feels like a big Brahmin pen for caravans. They've been stopped for a while, waiting for the roads north to clear. Or the clearance papers to go through. Looks like you've walked away, so if you need to shake the dust off, head to the barracks at the bars there. Not much, but better than nothing. Nothing I know of. But if you've come from the north, means you can travel freer than most around here. Might check the barracks, someone might need you to hoof it somewhere. Just be careful when you go up on the roof. Got a sniper watching the road. If your gear's in need of repair, HQ's also worth checking out. Talk to Major Knight, he can help. Provided you got a pen and plenty of ink. Okay. Those two? Represents unification. Mostly good for shade. Won't do much else when the Legion reaches us. <laughs> okay. Watch yourself. That good for shade, man. Hey oh, okay. These are just a bunch of people hanging around here, hey? Yep. Oh, I missed the, missed the gate. You just gotta jump the sandbags, man. Yep. I think, should we go up on the roof here? Wow, she's paler than I am, and I'm a vampire. <laughs> you a courier? If so, this might be your lucky day. If you don't mind walking a bit. And your eyes are good. I think there's trouble in Nipton. No traffic from there on the roads. And while I can explain that away, smoke from the town I can't. I'm sure it's been hit. What I need to know is if they survived it. Might be powder gangers with all that smoke in the air. If there's anybody left, they'd be in the Nipton Town Hall. Go there. Check it out. Let me know what you find. Okay. All right. Look at you. Yeah. All fired up and ready to go. Wish the others around here had that kind of attitude. Listen, I don't want uh, you getting oh, killed for her this. Her name is Ranger so Ghost. Yep. Trouble, I'm asking for eyes and ears, not your life. All right? Okay. Not much to tell. One of the worst posts in the NCR if you're looking to be anything more than a babysitter. Full up here, but just enough so we can't send out patrols. Gotta maintain a standing force. Jackson's orders. NCR's orders. Can't spare men for patrols or escorts, so caravans are backing up here like a Brahmin with a bottle in its ass. Mm, typical NCR bullshit. Kimball's Kimball. Not sure which end is his ass or his head. Caravan families are causing trouble. Big circle getting tense. The usual. Look, you want gossip, go to the bar downstairs and listen to a whole lot of nothing. Me? I gotta keep watch, then fill out the daily log. Okay. Mind yourself on the plank going down. Gotta love those TPS reports. Yep. Okay. Well, let's go in here. New face in the outpost. Must have come from the north. So, what do you have? Work around here? Might check with Jackson in the main building. Or ghost up on the roof above, but watch out. She's, well, she's kind of a bitch. Uh. Don't tell her I said that, though. Might take a bullet some night when I'm going to the latrine. <laughs> wow, she must be a real bitch, then. Not too much. A lot of caravans going nowhere. A lot of troopers going nowhere, too. Few prospectors here and there, but they don't do more than stink up the place. Everybody's backed up here. You'd think it'd be good for business, but most of the traders are tight with the caps, even the larger caravan outfits. Okay, what do you have for trade? Take a look. Anything interesting? Is this my stuff? Yeah, yep. this, is, this is my stuff. Okay. Well, she's got ammo and things like that. If you're looking for more shotgun ammo, maybe yeah. she has some. Well, I could sell these NCR dollars. Yep, right? you could. Oops. Oh, 
Okay. Maybe I should uh, do something with that, uh, with it's the stuff that I've got in here too. Um, yeah, you got like five million nine millimeter pistols. Yeah. You got one that you could finish repairing up. And then I guess one that you could sell. Okay. Almost background. Take a look. Okay. That's the crappy nine millimeter pistol. We'll sell that. Sell this. Mm. Don't really need this right now either. Oh, you're gonna sell the ten millimeter submachine gun? Yeah, I think so. Ah, what the hell? You'll find more. Okay, well, I don't really... These are common enough, I think, that I can probably sell this too. Guess I can sell that too, since I already have my own low light vision. <laughs> yep. Not a fan of vodka, huh? Well, I have a whole bunch of stuff like that on me, so I figured I'd sell it because it has a good price, right? Well, maybe she has some shotgun shells for you in return or something like yeah. that. of anything interesting for sale, right? I'm still using that. Duck and cover. <laughs> See, imagine that if somebody were to sell you dirty water. Just dirty water on the shelf. Yeah. As an item for sale. Well, it I looked like, like she had some uh, 20 gauge up top. Yeah. I've already got lots of ammunition, though, for now, anyway. Fine, then. Makes you wish for a nuclear winter. We won't go quietly. The Legion can count on that. Well, I just climbed over that stool. Okay, who are you? Looking for trouble? Uh, no. Well, keep those eyes up and turning, or I'll set them spinning. Got no time for gawkers, or anyone looking for something I ain't selling. <laughs> How about a drink? How about a couple is what you mean. Drinking to forget, and it's only getting me mad instead. Whiskey always gets my temper up now more than ever. Drinking used to cause all sorts of trouble back west. Before I punched enough people, that is. And they learned to lay low when the whiskey hit. Hmm? Oh, yeah? <laughs> Lost my caravan heading north. The driver burned to ash. And they didn't even take the cargo. They just burned that, too. Mm. My guess is Legion. They're trying to cut NCR's supply line. And the Mojave <laughs> outpost is proof. Got us locked up tighter than a new Vegas virgin. No caravans in? out and just try arguing with Jackson about it. Roads aren't safe, he says. No shit, you washed out old fuck up. I didn't need a brotherhood scribe to tell me that. Who's Jackson? NCR officer, trooper, whatever. Runs the place. He's over in the main building. The one without a bar. 
Jackson won't let me head north. It's not safe. And even though my caravan's gone, my caravan papers are keeping me here. So if you came here for oh, work, so if you had no advice, caravan papers, you could just walk around freely like I can. Vegas, yep, they can help you out. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Welcome to the NCR. What's on your mind? Okay, well you're kind of cranky. You maybe I'll just now. maybe I'll just go. Um, I guess we'll go check out the other building, hey? Morning. Wow, crowded out here. All the soldiers leaving the bar and getting ready for duty. Yeah, because it's nothing like quite like having a couple of beers before you go to work, right? That's right. <laughs> All the more to keep you uh, awake and alert, right? Major Knight. Caravan, citizen, pilgrim, or... Just need something for the logbook, keeping tabs on traffic throughout the outpost. Although mostly just in, not out these days. If you're looking for the commanding officer, he's in the back. Although, he's got a lot on his plate, so if you speak with him, keep it short. Also, if you need any gear checked, we can get you up and running again. Once you fill out the work orders and sign for the parts, of course. Prim? These units are stationed up there. We're having problems with some of the NCRCF convicts. What can I help you with? I'd like to help, but we can't spare any more units. We have to maintain a minimum headcount at the outpost. Orders from the west. Okay. Ha! If I actually got enough barter to be able to do that. I see the wisdom yeah. in that. Apparently. I'll radio for a unit to head up to Prim and offer some additional support. <clears throat> oh, look at that. Maybe I solved this already. Maybe, yeah. Yeah, okay. Help? Oh, well, you could speak to Ranger Jackson. He might have something for you. He sort of runs things around here. Mostly ends up sending reports back west that aren't filled with the best news. Okay. Bye. Dismissed. Morning. Let's go talk to the boss. This guy must be him right here. Looks like we got a new visitor in the old Brahmin pen. Not many people coming here in a hurry, only passing through. And if you're passing through, you picked a bad That's time. a pretty neat sight he's got on that rifle, huh? Hell, and if I let a caravan through, yep. they won't make it. Help. Now look, I uh. appreciate... Uh, you know what? Yes, I could use the help. And you look like you can handle yourself. I need to get the caravans moving again. That means clearing a path north. There's too much crawling the asphalt up the road to allow it. Thanks, I appreciate it. Come back here when you're done. I might accidentally lose some supplies to pay you with. <laughs> okay. There you go. So I found a job. I uh, also uh, actually found a couple of jobs. And I also maybe solved Prim's problems. How about that? All yep. In, all in one, one go. Yo, it's all thanks to your bartering ability. Yeah. See, you can thank that hat again. Yeah, actually, you know what? That hat that's turned out to be pretty useful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you never come here with that yeah. hat before. No. Yeah, that plus 10 to barter skill is actually a, a pretty good thing. Anyway, um, what do we need to do here? We need to go here. Um, there. Clear out critter. Is this the job that he just gave me? Yep. I think so, yeah. Okay.
Okay. Oops. This must be where we're talking about, right? That'd be them. Okay. Damn it, I can't figure out how to stand up again. Oh, that's okay. That random mercenary who happens to be passing through the area will help you out some. Yeah. Problem solved. <laughs> yeah, nothing like uh, locking onto a friendly in vats, eh? Don't you love it? There you go. Nice hit. Boy, those things are bullet sponges, eh? Yep. But your armed rifle can fire a pretty damn long ways away. Yeah, actually, you know what? For a small caliber weapon, it's actually pretty good. getting there. Two more markers. Kind of far away for me to see. Well, you can always go and take care of business with the shotgun here. Yeah, thing takes two shotgun shells, keeps moving. They are bullet sponges. Okay, so I completed that objective, so now I can go back and uh, get paid, eh? You could also pick up that ant meat and crap if you wanted to sell it. Nah. Just a bunch of extra dead weight for nothing. I know, man. If those merchants still got money. That guy has still got money. You could sell him at me. Yeah. 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 say that even though uh, the sensitivity here is a lot faster once you get used to it it isn't too bad yeah it's really just that adjustment period from going between games right yep yeah I'm trying to figure out what the different controls are because the control scheme is slightly different right goes to talk to Ranger Jackson shoots him in the face instead <laughs> Yeah, whoops, sorry. Appreciate the help. Wish I had more work for you, but nothing else on the radar at the moment. No, I mentioned you might accidentally get supplied, and I meant it. Not allowed to contract mercenaries at the outpost. Huh. Still, a requisition form or two can get lost, and they're not gonna come check. So here you go, just between us. Well, now I can level up. And I get 14 skill points. Well, so, you can keep working on your repair if you wanted to. Yeah, I probably should. Actually, 
You know what? I'm going to throw 55 points into repair. Then, what else am I going to do here? I got 40 in melee weapons and 43 in guns, so maybe I'll spend a little bit there and a little bit there. And I don't get an extra perk this time around, I guess. So that's it. Because if I've got a high enough... Ooh, I just got some money too. If I have a high enough repair skill, I can repair that robot. Yeah, that's true. Back yep. Prim. So I'm going to go back to Prim and I'm going to talk to uh, Hayes there and see if I can get paid for that job. Because they should be able to take over the uh, uh, town sheriff duties. And then I'll see if I can repair that robot. Let's see, shoot that. Okay. Wildlife? Probably, yeah. Uh oh. What now? I think more wildlife. I don't see any red dots on my uh, heads up display there, so. No, I don't think they're pissed off at you. I think they're pissed off at them. Hmm. It's not your problem. Unless yeah. you want to go shoot at things. So. Yeah, this sounds like not my problem. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here. I'm going to see about closing out that job for, to get a sheriff for Prim and uh, see if I can fix that robot. And then I'll go over and investigate Nipton. Oh, Rad Scorpion. Yeah. Rad Scorpion is also deaf. Okay, I've still got 30 of the other one things going on here. So at one time I had the caravan shotgun mod for Fallout 4 too, and uh, I can see now where the model for that came from as well. Yep. Right. They have quite a few uh, weapon mods for Fallout 4 to reintroduce weapons that were in Fallout New Vegas. And then got taken out. Yep. Yeah, it's kind of crazy how much stuff they took out between the two games. And I don't know. I mean, they did the similar thing between uh, uh, Oblivion and Skyrim as well. And also between uh, Morrowind and Oblivion as well. I guess if you want to go back that far. They've been doing this kind of thing for a while. And I mean, like, yeah, the graphical fidelity of uh, the games keeps getting better. But I think that it comes with a cost, right? And the cost is like the little touches, the little details. Right, lots know. of weapon variety, lots of uh, little uh, things like holstered weapons and things like that. Not that I don't appreciate yeah. uh, Fallout 4 or Skyrim for what they are. I got extra yeah, I troop got support. Word There's a squad of rangers standing by. Sergeant McGee will take over as sheriff and the rangers will be his deputies. This town will be in NCR territory. This means that aside from protection, the citizens will also need to become registered NCR citizens and pay any appropriate and associated taxes. <laughs> oh, they're going to hate me. <laughs> <laughs> Roger. I'll radio them over now. <laughs> hey. Well, there you go. You made friends with Prim. Yeah. Totally. Yeah, you're the one that made us pay taxes. Yeah. <laughs> well, 
Wow, look at all these people that were hiding inside the casino. Now they're out wandering around. Yep. Hey, there's Deputy Beagle. He's still all half dead. Well, if it isn't the lawbringer. Then what's your problem now? My problem is that I'm no longer a deputy. I'm just a Beagle now. Apparently two and a half months of law enforcement experience doesn't count for anything. The new regime is just that. All new. He's rude. Don't tell him I said it. Prim has a sheriff now, just not as supportive as I would have hoped. Nah. Well, you were pretty useless as a deputy anyway. Yeah, man, you should have been the sheriff yourself. Yeah, you had the chance. He had the golden job opportunity. He just I fucked it up. That should keep the powder gangers away. Hey. So, these are all Prim residents that are heading off to do whatever it is that they do? Yep. Okay. I think what's his nuts was actually coming in just behind you. Yeah. Let's repair this robot now. Sixty-five or 65? higher. Sixty-five. Do you have Jeez. a repair magazine? Because you've got fifty-five. Yeah. Well, uh, let's see if I do. Fixing things—that's what that's called, isn't it? Yeah, some such. No, I don't have. Now maybe a... what's his nuts has one for sale. Yeah, you never know. <clears throat> you gotta wait for him to come inside first, which means you have to take a step outside so that he can come inside and come back in. Heard it was you brought the law back to Prim, youngster. Hats off to you. Yeah, okay. Uh, well, do you got anything for well, sale? Give me a moment to get back to my shop and I'll show you my stock. Okay, well, get moving then. Uh. Uh, okay. Bye. Oh yeah, that guy, he looks like, his face looks like a prune. That's because he was like in mid-cigarette animation and his face got stuck that way when you talk to him. Yeah, well, he, he actually looks like he's a hundred years old already though, right? <laughs> like, look at him. Yep. Hey, hey there, youngster. Okay, now have you got anything for sale? Yep, I got more ammunition now that the NCR keeps supplies flowing in. On the other hand, I'm paying them NCR taxes, so now you've got to as well. What? <laughs> He's <laughs> passing the taxes <laughs> on to you. That's how it works. Yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, he does have one of those. It's not too expensive either. Thanks. Hey, yeah. Uh, hey, if you got a scope for my uh, rifle, maybe? Yep. Let's see. No, you don't. It was worth a try. Yeah, bye. Okay. Well, now we'll read the Fixin' Things magazine here. Whoops. Repair plus ten. Now, now we can fix it. Run the repair. Where to go? Oh. Yeah, he can carry stuff for you. He's also a portable workbench, right? Okay. Yeah. And uh, he's got that laser gun mounted on the front of him, so he and be a bit of a combatant. I think I can ask Johnson Nash here. You got that old robot up and running again? How's it working out for you? I have some questions about Eddie. That beat up old pile of bolts. What do you want to know? <coughs> the courier dropped it off a little bit ago. I'd hope to get it up and running for some courier work, but never could get it running. Not a bit. I imagine there must be some people around curious about that kind of technology. Okay, I guess no that's all you got to say about shot. it. Yeah, did that already. It kind of sucked. <laughs> you know, we don't want to do that again. How? Don't want to get shot? Yeah, especially not in the face. Yeah, so he follows me around. I can also, he also has a little bit of a perk, companion perk. 
that uh, allows me to detect enemies at a longer range too. I see, I see. Well, it sounds like he's a good thing to have around all around. Yeah. He's a good thing to have around. So, we're going to head on over to Nipton. Alrighty. Shouldn't take us too long to get there. It's not that far away. I think I can see the water tower or something from there already. There. Yeah, well, it's just, uh, so you, you, t you go up this road and you turn right to get to the NCR place. Well, you go up this road and you turn left to get to Nipton. Oh, I just discovered the dry lake. Yeah, who'd have thunk it would be a location on the map? I guess so. Well, no more cricket sound anyways. Yeah. Oh, there it is again. Wow, look at all those ants. Yeah, you, to you totally cleared the way north, right? You know, you killed like one batch of ants out of the many on the road. Yep. Problem That's solved. Right. That's right. Enough for some supplies to get lost. I think you ended up getting a service rifle out of that, didn't you? Um, um, um. Yep, I did. It's got a bigger mag than the varmint rifle, and it fires faster, but I don't think it's, uh, silence. Yeah, but it's okay. Uh -oh. oh! Well, you've been found out by whatever found you out anyways. On your... On your everywhere. Well, it looks like Eddie is getting them, mowing them down anyway. Eddie's taking care of the problem for you. That's right. Jackal. Wow, okay. Look at that, he's got a cowboy repeater on him too. Again. Well, stealth loud gun works just as good as stealth quiet gun. Did she just throw something at me? I don't think so. I think she's hiding around a corner or something. Well, you got a couple cowboy repeaters now. Yeah. I might have to start thinking about uh, switching over to one of them. Mine box. The frag mines. Yeah, of course it has frag mines in it. This. With grenades. Could there be another dead guy over here somewhere? Yeah, he's right over there.
And he's got some heavy ass metal armor that'll probably over encumber you if you pick it up. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother. Uh oh. Okay. Uh, where are they going? Don't know. Watch out. Oh, that'd be the other gang members. They all just like, you know, <laughs> casually <laughs> jaunt past you. Yeah. What the hell was that? Yeah. It just works. I guess it was one of those uh, things. Bethesda right? things, yeah. Yeah, Bethesda things. Just wow. out, out for an evening, you know, maybe because it's dark out, right? You know what? Those twenty-two caliber bullets do, sure do a lot of damage to a body. Look at that. Yep. Well, you ended up with a whole bunch of people to eat out of it. Yeah. Well, I'm just saving the blood packs from these guys for later, right? Yep. I think the other red dot is like an ant out in the middle of that dried up lake. That's fine. We'll be on our way here. Yeah, you can't eat ants. Oh, now you got more. Where? Well, those are ants out there. What's going on up here? Well, no, that looks a little bit like none of my business. But, you know. <laughs> a little bit like you're not your problem? Yeah. Although, look at this. I have a feeling I was going to get force greeted Did by somebody that? anyway. That crazy bitch just attacked me out of nowhere. Uh. Oh, okay. No, none at all. We've been traveling together since I picked her up a few days ago. And she's been friendly this whole time. We'd actually been flirting a little when she suddenly pulled a gun out and began yelling at me to hand my caps over. Now that I think of it, though, she laughed when I threw her my money. I think what she really wanted was my Lucky Charm necklace. Lucky Charm necklace? Yeah, every once in a while you can find a cap with a blue star on it. They're pretty rare, so I started collecting them. Yeah. Once I had enough, I made a necklace out of them, since I thought they were lucky. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> <clears throat> Yeah, somehow I don't think I'm gonna pass that. No, speech check. you you definitely won't. I will. That's the last time I pick up a straggler on the road. Believe me. Okay. Well, why don't we go and loot the body over here then? Since if you, you can find her. Since you obviously didn't. Yeah, if I can find her. I probably went too far already, right? I'm thinking so. Well, I might not be able to find her. But that's okay. We've got other things to do here anyway. Yeah, like the random black trail of smoke that's coming out of Nipton. Or yeah. a couple of trails of smoke. Wonder what could be going on there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Nipton is on fire. Ooh. Uh, wow. Oh, uh, looks like uh, there's some crucified people here in Nipton. Yeah. Maybe we'll, uh... Okay. 
well, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, and a couple of uh, mean-looking dogs. Okay. Don't worry. I won't have you lashed to a cross like the rest of these degenerates. It's useful that you happen by. Huh. I want you to witness the fate of the town of Nipton, to memorize every detail. And then, when you move on, I want you to teach everyone you meet the lesson that Kaisar's Legion taught here. Especially any NCR troops you run across. No, oh, what lessons do you teach here? Think? <laughs> that they are weak and we are strong? This much was known already. But the depths of their moral sickness, their dissolution, Nipton serves as the perfect object lesson. Nipton was a wicked place, debased and corrupt. It served all comers. So long as they paid, profligate troops, powder gangers, men of the legion. Yeah, but why do you care? <laughs> Just don't come here. It was a town of whores. For a pittance, the town agreed to lead those it had sheltered into a trap. Only when I sprang it did they realize they were caught inside it too. Yes, and herded them to the center of town. I told them their sins, the foremost being disloyalty. I told them that when legionaries are disloyal, some are punished, the others made to watch. And I announced the lottery. Each clutched his ticket, hoping it would set him free. Each did nothing, even when loved ones were dragged away to be killed. What, so you uh, slaughtered innocent <laughs> civilians? Innocent? Hardly. Cowardly, though. They outnumbered us, yet not once did they try to resist. They stood and watched as their fellows were butchered, crucified, and burned, one by one. They stood and hoped their turn would not come. Each cared only for himself. Well, you know what? Your crimes are unforgivable. As are <laughs> all crimes. If you feel strongly about it, attack us, and soon you won't feel a thing. Yeah, we'll see about that. I'm gonna shoot you in the face. How about that? <laughs> you pay for that. Shunned, you've left a poor impression on the community, so Caesar's Legion doesn't like me. Well, now you're hated. 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 Okay. I'm hated by Caesar's Legion. I just leveled up too. Wow. Uh, now they're gonna be uh, probably sending death squads after you. Yeah, well, that's okay. I don't like them. Uh, well, what else can we do here? Well, you could get uh, uh, lock picking or some science. Yeah, we need some science. Maybe. I don't know. Um, or you could just focus on what you're good at. I mean, it's up to you. Or you could get some speech. Speech is, uh, kind of big. Okay. Yeah, maybe we'll start working on speech. There we go. Ooh, and I got a... thing. I don't use bats very much. Mm. Well, apparently you could uh, qualify for a uh, shotgun surgeon. Yeah, I'm looking at that. That actually looks like it's probably the way to go, I think. Okay. So. Kill the Legion guys and eat them. Well, what can I say? Your crimes make you lunch. I don't, I don't like people who just think that they can just summarily execute other people just because they don't like the way they live. <laughs> I was, I was exercising my, my, uh... Your right to protest? A right to protest. <laughs> That's right. That's what it was, yeah. Yeah, totally, totally. Yeah.
Okay, well, we need to do some repairs on some of these cowboy repeaters now, I think. Hey, you've got a whole boatload of them now. Yeah. What, uh, what uh, are we looking at for time here, Rectory 5X? We're just over an hour. All right, well, maybe we'll conclude this episode here. And uh, when we come back in the next episode, I guess, maybe we'll check out the Nipton Town Hall and a few of the buildings. Just for the fun of it. Just to see what's inside. All right. And then we'll have to head back and tell Ghost what happened in Nipton. All righty. But until then... I'm Rec B5. And I am Sandman99. Have a good one.